Chewy. Here we are. It's time for another episode of Fat Boy Fitness. Yay! Now, Monday I started a new job, and so I missed my workout on Monday. And then, uh, because I missed it Monday, I went ahead and worked out on Tuesday just to knock the workout out. But here we are Wednesday, and I'm still sore from yesterday. I didn't have to give myself any time to recover. So I've been using that resistance all morning long. My arms are sore. I can't. You're not supposed to work out two days in a two days in a row if you're trying to if you're trying to grow if you're trying to develop muscles. You're supposed to let the muscles have some time to recover. And I've been trying to talk myself out of it. I even considered switching my workout days to Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays instead of Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. And while that's all viable, I mean, you could easily get away with that. Nobody would ever know. It, it interferes with the rest of my life, and so I don't. That would just make it easier to quit. And I don't want to quit. I want to keep going. So uh, I'm going to push through an I'm going to push through the exercises today. It may be harder. May, I may find that I don't have any issues whatsoever. But I'm going to go ahead. Here I am. I'm going to go ahead and push through it. So we're going to do some Australian style pull-ups, body rows. I think they call them in Australia. I'm not really sure. I don't. I've never been to Australia, but. I'm going to do as many as I can directly under it, and then I'm going to adjust so that I can get some full range of motion. And then we'll do some crunches, some push-ups, and some deep knee bends. Now before we start, you don't have to do these exact same exercises. You can lean up against the wall, you can wave your arms back and forth. If you set your soda on the floor while you're sitting on the couch watching it, it forces you to lean down and pick your soda up. If you'll just do that for the 30 minutes of this video you'll be miles ahead of, of not doing anything. So just do something even if it's just not eating for the 30 minutes you watch because that's where I started. So here we go. Also I'm not a doctor or a nutritionist. <laughs> I'm a fat guy on YouTube. Don't take advice from a fat guy on YouTube. Do your own research. Go see a doctor or a nutritionist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. All right. There's that. Now we'll do some crunches. Now, if you notice, if you move your butt that way, it lowers the it lowers the resistance. And if you'll notice what I did, I, I moved out to pull myself up and then center myself back under it to lower myself slowly to, to help make the muscles grow. I think that's called eccentric. Eccentric activity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, that's 30 of those. Got some push ups. One, two, three, four, five. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah. All right. Still got five real push-ups in there. Still don't have the full range of motion though. Can't go all the way down because my gut's still in the way. But that's that's going away too. Mrs. Carruthers pointed out that I don't quite fill the doorway like I used to. That makes me feel sexy. <laughs> Sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. So sexy it hurts. Oh, sorry, it's not that kind of video. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that's one circuit. Two more to go. Have you seen that commercial? Have you seen that commercial? That's trying to teach, where they're trying to teach people from help people not become their parents and it's got the men sitting down in the chairs you know now sit down and get up without making any noise and the guy sits down nope try again <laughs> I never never understood why old people started make, making noises like that when they sit down and get up until I became old I'm still not sure why we do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Now the urge is when you get up to the top to push your hips up like that and make you feel like you've gone higher. That does not help strengthen your arms any more than bowing your back does with a push up. Or just looking down when you're doing squats. That does not help. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, my goodness. They are kind of explosive, though. They they feel like they're like they're going well. No. Oh. But I still just can't get all the way up. Alright. Push ups. Two, 
three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh. Two or three? Surely that's three. No, it's just two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Hang on, I gotta let the dog out. Come on. How'd you go? Whew. I have three dogs. <coughs> and they can't all go out at the same time. That would be ridiculous. One at a time. Okay. You see that? No vocalizations. I can be taught. <coughs> Alright. Last set. that for the day. Get some recovery in tomorrow. Try and get a little more challenging on Friday. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, yes, that, that still burns. <clears throat> All right, push ups.
with a stretching routine. Wednesday. That's the first workout. We did it. Ooh. Okay. <coughs> hydrate. It's important to hydrate. Like a douche, you know, the runner in the night, blinded by the light. <coughs> Some silicone sister with a manicured mister told me I got what it takes. He said, I'll turn you on, sunny, into something strong. Something with the funky brakes. Checking out the weather chart, seeing it was safe outside. And little early girl, they gave my head up, girl, early. Asked me if I needed a ride. Put my safety rope on. So if I fall, I won't roll like a dough ball. Shut this, that's really bright. go put this on there <coughs> this is the Wednesday workout take the incline to one start off two miles an hour get the little leg balls moving <coughs> allergy season Got all kinds of itchy eyes, runny nose. But you can't, you gotta get all that cleared up before you go outside, or they'll shoot you with nets and drag you off to quarantine. <laughs> <coughs> I 
Miss Carruthers asked me on the comments if I ever had, if I ever thought about delegating specific days to specific workouts. And when I was younger, 18, 19 years old, <coughs> and I would work out back then, I was Army National Guard trying to maintain fitness. And I would do like legs, or I mean like arms and shoulders and abs one day, legs and back and abs the next day, and then on the third day I'd rest. And even for a while I was working out with a buddy and he would be, we, we would do it where we would do curls for instance on Monday and we wouldn't touch our biceps again. No, we'd do them till failure and we wouldn't do any more work, any more bicep workouts for a whole week. Give, give that muscle a full week to recover. And yeah, there were gains, but it was always such a punishing workout and it was always so intense and long and frustrating and was very easy to quit. And so I'm not, I'm not at that stage here. The only thing, I guess I kind of am because I'm only delega delegating Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays to pull-ups, push-ups, and, and sit-ups, and deep knee bends. But eventually I want to get to the point where I, I just wake up in the morning, have a cup of coffee, do my morning papers, as soon as I finish my cup of coffee, jump up, do my 30 sit-ups, my 20 push-ups, my 10 deep knee bends, my five pull-ups, and then go run a mile, and then be done with it for the day. That'll be maintenance. When I get to that point, I don't even know if I'm still gonna make videos about it at that point, other than maybe a weekly, a weekly encouragement video answering questions and showing you where I still am and maybe we'll do we'll run through the workout while we talk about it but I probably won't do four videos a week at that point but that's today you know like what I told like I told her when I get to that point maybe I'll have other goals in mind maybe then I'll say you know I'd like to be a little bit more sculpted I'd like a little more mass. But I think, I think as far as mass goes, I think my musculature is underneath the padding. I think my musculature is still pretty good. So I'm not all that worried about it. I mean, I can still, I can still pick my grown children. Well, not my son, my oldest son. Good God, he's huge. But my oldest daughter, who's 29 just turned my youngest daughter 16 and a half my youngest son is about to turn 12 and that two youngest I can pick up and throw back and forth between my arms my 29 year old I can still pick her up and walk around with her I think I'd have to fire him and carry my my son so today I can still do it so I think the I think the underlying musculature is, is pretty good, about, about where I probably need it to be for my frame. I might, I might want to be just a little bit stronger, just so I can impress the lady, just the one. But I don't really have to do anything to impress her, and that's fabulous. So, it doesn't mean I'm going to stop trying. I still walk around and flip my towel up. It's not important. I still try to impress her. And she still points and laughs. <laughs> like she's always done. And that's the important thing. When she's laughing, she's squinting. She can't really see what she's getting herself into. That's why you gotta keep them laughing, guys. <laughs> so, 
I don't know if I talked about it. I started a new job. Monday, I started training for the new job. And I spent Monday, the first part of Monday afternoon, until about 4.45, we were doing safety videos and safety training. And then from 5 o'clock until 9 o'clock, we did training on uh, tugger trucks. I don't know if you know what a tugger truck is. It's like the little tote, little uh, machine. Looks like a four-wheeler. Looks like a miniaturized Jeep. They use them to pull the carts full of luggage out at the airport to go to the planes. It's probably where you've seen them more often than not. But they also use them in manufacturing and warehouses to move parts among people because they're very maneuverable and they're very small and they're very strong. So we did that and I got certified on that Monday night, which not really not that exciting, not that big a deal, except that I, I now have a certification for that. It's more pay. <laughs> and then uh, last night we started forklift training and he goes around the room and he asks, he's only got seven of us in the class. Well, he said it was one of the smallest classes he's had in a while. He's been, he's been having 16, 18 students in there at a time. But last night, he only, our group is only seven. And he asks around the room who has forklift experience. And we all raised our hands. I had the most with 15 years. The next guy had 12. Next guy had seven. And then everybody else was two, three, and five. So everybody's really experienced. And he's showing us these videos and these slides. And then he hands us a test that's supposed to take us 15 minutes. And we were all done in about two. We all passed. And then he shows us a 45 minute video and a series of slides. And he gives us a test that's supposed to take us 20 minutes. We all finished in about five. <laughs> we all passed. And then he decided because we were so quick and we were getting done so early he decided to show us some of the videos that we were supposed to watch today so that today we wouldn't spend as much time in the classroom and he kept us there till about 10 o'clock 10 15. that's hard on an old man i wake up i naturally wake up every morning about 4 4 30 every morning and this, normally I'm in bed trying to be asleep by 11, 10, 10 o'clock, 10.30, I'm in bed with the lights out. 11 o'clock, I'm trying to be asleep. Get minimum five, six hours sleep, I'm trying to. And I was there until after 10. 30 minute drive home, 10.30, 10.45 get ready, change out, had to go for my mile and a half walk, had to draw my pen up, and the next thing you know it's midnight and I'm still kind of wired, so 12.30 I'm still kind of wired, finally get to bed about 1, one about 1.30 one is the last time I saw, remember looking at the clock and I'm out, and then I woke up at 4, and I laid there and forced forced myself to go back to sleep. Wife got up at 6. We did our morning snuggle thing at 6.30. And then I've just been trying to get everything organized since then. I'm trying to figure out how to fit my art career, my health, my day job, which currently is a night job, but I have that job with a specific goal in mind. It's to pay the bills while I develop the art career. So it's going to work out well, I think. Just have to figure out how to work out around it. But anyway, thanks for listening to me rant. I appreciate you coming around. I appreciate your words of encouragement. If you have any questions, if you have any alternative exercises you did, let us know in the comments. Maybe you can help somebody else out. But thank you for encouraging me and thank you for your encouraging words to each other. And as always, be kind to each other and to yourselves. Peace out.